Hello and welcome to the next episode of Home Tours, where today I am taking you around this beautiful Kensington apartment. Okay, so first stop is this incredible hallway area. Now, many of you will know if you have a London apartment, big entrances are not a common feature of most flats. So this is a really outstanding entrance and you can just feel how vast it is when you stand in here. We wanted to keep the hallway really simple because you know, to make this bold statement with the panelling and, you know, the fact that it goes on and on, we wanted to keep everything else really quite simple. This is a property that I think we designed around eight years ago now, so, you know, you might expect it to look a little bit dated. In actual fact, to me um, and the rest of the crew today, it looks absolutely brand new. We have this really stunning console table and a really delicate sculpture that sits just on top um, with quite a bright, strong painting behind. And again, I like the fact that we've got a really strong yellow here. I think it pulls in the blue really nicely on the other side and, you know, it just gives you this sense of what you're about to see. So throughout the corridor, I think we have one of the most um, interesting corridors because this was very dark and red and maroon. So again, we've changed it so we've got panelling everywhere. But interestingly, we decided to add in some very interesting 19th century style light. So it's very lovely to be in this space. And actually, in a different colour, this corridor looks very cramped and small. But with the white panelling and with it all really pared back and simplified, it feels very vast, which is really lovely. So come on through, I'll take you to the first bedroom. Welcome to the twin bedroom. Now this is a very special room. It always had this very unique shape and I remember when we started working on this project thinking, what am I going to do with this room? You know, there's a narrow sort of entrance area and then you've got this round um, bay window um, section at the side, which, you know, of course is a really stunning area, but in a bedroom, you know, how do you make it work? So we were really lucky because you've just got enough walkthrough space here to be able to put two twin beds. And what's really interesting here is that we obviously wanted to keep it very neutral and very transitional because ultimately if this is going to be a child's bedroom they will grow into teenagers at some point and then adults and so keeping it really neutral allows for them to just grow into whatever space they need it to become. Welcome to my favourite part of the house which is the living room and in here you will see some very sculptural lighting. It's something that I love doing in here and we use these really beautiful bespoke designed mid 19th century lights in here and we really went all out. We use them as sculptures on the wall, we use them on the ceiling and they really are the feature of the room. Um, but another feature that's one of my favorites is the joinery unit just sitting behind me. I love the fact that this unit mechanically closes and then the lights in the display area go straight on and it immediately sets the tone for the mood in the room and you immediately feel like you've turned from day to night. And of course it doesn't have to be day and night but it does really set this beautiful mood and atmosphere. Okay, my next favorite part of this room is the sofa area. And many of you will know I like a curved sofa. The nice thing about this sofa is that although it's a curve, it's almost quite a square curve. So you don't really feel like it takes up too much room or that it might be uncomfortable. We have these really gorgeous curved coffee tables just by my feet and they make such a lovely statement I mean, there are lots of hard lines in this room because of the lighting and because of the harder frames and edges and so these curves really break that feeling up and they are beautiful sitting alongside the many lines here
Welcome to the master bedroom. This was a really interesting space because of course here what we wanted to do was increase storage to the absolute maximum, but also keep everything quite simple. And being that this was the master, what we also wanted to do was make sure the side tables were really large, but also that the bathroom, which is an ensuite, was separated in some way from the main room so that you don't hear someone that wakes up earlier than you having a shower and getting ready. And just taking you through to the bathroom, because of course, this was a really interestingly designed space. We needed as much storage as possible and we had extra space here. So what we did was create this extra wardrobe, almost like a walk-in wardrobe space here. And on the other side, we've almost closed off the bathroom. So this would have been the whole bathroom if we hadn't closed it off, but we closed it off with these smoked glass doors. So through here, you have double his and hers vanities. Now this was actually an old fireplace, so as you can see, we couldn't really go that far up. And actually we had to keep within this space, but we've managed to make it look really interesting. So it almost looks like, you know, a small alcove that's just your personal area. And on the other side, you had a bigger space. So either we could have replicated what we did over there, but we thought, you know what, let's make this interesting and bring as much light in as possible and go all the way. And sometimes having an exact balance in two places doesn't necessarily mean um, it will look better and certainly in this area having one that's higher and actually one that's slightly lower works really interestingly together. I am a big fan of the finishes here obviously we have the brass against the white and it looks very very clean and very very elegant. Okay, so in here is the third bedroom or potentially a nanny room or a staff room. It's a really lovely bright room. The very, very large window behind me helps, of course. But what we've done is we tried to use a neutral. So instead of using a cream or a taupe, we've gone for a gray. And rather than making it too deep and too dark in terms of the gray color, what we've done is layer darker grays against lighter grays and actually it's worked really well here. Again, we've added in some Smith & Nora to make sure we've got some of our um, softer grays in here just to sort of bring everything up to date and make it a little bit more fresh. Okay, so come on in to my favorite bathroom. I love the finishes in here. I love the way we've got this really beautiful taupe colored wood against this really lovely porcelain marble looking um, tile. And it's really been done beautifully. I love how elegant these taps are. And actually they have this sort of classical edge, but they're almost a little bit modernized. So they really fit in beautifully here. And um, again, just showing you down here, how lovely the two finishes are together. I love this taupe wood um, against this sort of whiter finish. Uh, and of course, you know, this porcelain tile actually has these really lovely taupe-like veins um, that aren't too thin actually, so it really does pull through this lovely um, timber. Okay, so welcome to the kitchen. Now, what I love about here, before I've even gone in, is the fact that not only do you have these pull out sliding doors because there isn't a lot of space in this kitchen. But actually, for someone like me with nails, you have the ability to actually just create your own little handle. And so you don't need to use the pole um, if you feel like actually it might break your nails or that you just don't feel like using it. Or indeed, if you have younger children who can't quite reach for those handles. This was a very simple, clean kitchen. You can see in here, there isn't that much space. So we've tried to really make sure we fit everything in, but by keeping it really simple and really clean, it doesn't feel small or claustrophobic. It actually feels really neat and tidy and almost spacious. So that concludes my tour with you today. I hope you've really enjoyed it. I loved being back in this apartment and I hope you enjoyed it too. If you haven't already, please do subscribe. And if you wanna let me know what you think, again, please do, I would love to hear. Thank you.